Hey guys, uh, welcome to this segment. Peter Udo here. Tonight I'm going to show you four steps to creating zip file. If you have tried to send a bunch of files to somebody before and there are so many of them, you have to go back and forth. You click, you attach, you click, and you attach, you click, to, and it takes a lot of time from you. If you have had frustration doing that, this will be a very important tutorial for you to pay attention to because you pick up a, a tip or two in terms of making life easier for you when you do that. But before we proceed, I'm going to say you go ahead and subscribe and do share this video with uh, a lot of people. Uh, you never know who is going to need it in terms of what they need to learn. Um, so we're going to talk about those four steps. Uh, step one will be making sure your files are organized it doesn't matter what kind of files they are they can be different files they can be video files they can be uh, photo picture files they can be a bunch of uh, word processing documents uh, spreadsheets uh, they can be PDFs or even database uh, files they can be different types or the same types but you won't have them in one folder organized and the first thing you want to do is to organize them then select okay once you select them step two you're going to right click and then select from the context menu that shows up you say send to you select send to and select the option that says compress zip folder once you select that voila the magic happens it will create the zip file automatically for you but if you have a bunch of files that have to do with a particular event maybe it's about a corporate event that's coming up you want to rename it so the your file name will be more identifiable of that event what I have here have to do with a zip demo so I'm gonna rename my file zip demo once I'm done step four you want to attach it to your email or if you are submitted as a part of a training document or homework you want to be able to attach it so we're going to get to that step shortly but let's go ahead first of all i've already um let's go ahead and illustrate the first part i've already opened uh my document there and how did i get there let me show you quickly if i go to file explorer and click on that and if i go to documents i can double click to open my document right there pretty basic stuff so I have these uh, seven files I've already created this before in my uh, first attempt to create the zip folder which I completed but I wasn't happy with this I'm gonna redo it I'm gonna select this and uh, delete it so that first step now we want to select these files and then there's more than one way of selecting your files if you want to delay them rename them or even put them together as zip file there's more than one way to select it. I'm going to go ahead and left click and drag across while holding down the left side of the mouse. And while I look at that, it's completely selected. Okay, with that, I can right click and say send to compress zip folder. Once I left click to select that, it will create the zip folder for me. Another way to do it, okay. I like redundancy in technology. A redundant approach to that will be to hold control key on the keyboard and press A on your keyboard. Look at what happens. You hold those two keys together and all of the documents are selected. And what do you do? You right click, select there, right click. Okay, that's step two now. And you left click to select compress zip folder. Voila, there you go. And this will give a default name to your new zip file <coughs> it does that uh, to save you some work but the name of the file might not be very identifiable of what you uh, want it to be about you know maybe we want it to be indicative of a party or potluck or assignment or training or something that or events that's coming up here for me, it's zip demo, zip demo. So I'm gonna call it zip demo. With this still selected, I'm gonna rename it. If I click away from it, it will be deselected, but I can go back and rename it by clicking, right click and say rename. And I'm gonna call it zip demo and hit enter. Voila, 
that is uh, renamed. Okay. Now that takes us to step four. How do we send it to somebody or submit it to uh, maybe a learning system um, website uh, on the internet? Let's say you're taking a class, a training class, or a class in a university or some other learning institution, and you're required to submit stuff online through Moodle, Canvas, Blackboard, or some other uh, learning tool. Then, so let's explore that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up my Gmail quickly. And I'm going to select that. This may log me in automatically since this is my computer. And it didn't. Wow. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, log in. And once I do that, my Gmail will pop up. And I'm going to try to compose email. And for this part, I'm going to try to minimize my screen so we can capture everything. Because this tends to be tricky a little bit tends to move uh, maybe because of the resolution it moves the bottom part bottom right part of this screen out of view uh, so I'm gonna minimize my screen here not minimize but actually reduce the magnification so that everything will be visible hopefully so I'm gonna hold down control key and nudge the minus sign here and look at that is reducing the percentage there and hopefully this will make our work visible completely uh, wow that's not exactly the result I was looking for but you know uh, ho hopefully it will help a little bit uh, let's do that again okay it's at 90% now so I'm gonna go ahead and compose email I will say compose this is running slow a little bit quite unusual um, okay so I have email now and I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up very quickly and I will put my email in as the recipient and I'm gonna call it zip demo and in the actual message let me say this is the zip demo okay so I have this complete and in order to attach what I've already created I don't know if you can see this it keeps uh, let me expand okay it's expanded Okay, so I expanded it. Hopefully, you can see the whole thing here, because uh, it tends to hide the the stuff uh, in the bottom right corner. So I will go back there and left click on this, hold on to it, and drag. Look at what happens. If you haven't tried this stuff before, try it. It's pretty awesome, a big time saver. So I'm gonna drag to Google icon, and once it says to pin. Google Chrome not really what I was looking for uh, when it gets there I'm gonna move it to my actual the the body of the email move up and look at where it says drop files here I'm gonna go ahead and release that left uh, button in, the, in, in my mouse and it's currently processing and look at what happens here the zip demo is attached and I can send this to anyone once I send it it's gonna to go to my email okay so that's one way to attach it I like redundancy in technology because it gives you option to do stuff once you forget one you remember the other so what we're gonna do now is remove this and use another way to reattach the file okay so you see this for those who haven't used it before, or those who are learning the basic, I'm pretty sure most people already know how to do this. Uh, but those who are learning the basic, the clip there will be icon showing how to attach your file. I'm going to right left click 
and I'm going to go to that demo. If I double click and you know, it will attach it, I can remove it, go back, select it, and say open. So whether I double click it or select it and open, it's going to attach it. All of these seven files are already inside here. And once I say open, it's going to attach it for me. And once it's attached, I can send it. Yeah. So that is how to attach a file. So I'm going to close this up since we are done with our demo. And I'm going to close out my email. So four steps. Let me go ahead and summarize four steps that we've covered. Step one, you want to uh, organize your files in a folder and select all files either by right clicking and dragging by right clicking um, actually no left clicking to select all of them or do control a on the keyboard and select all of them if you're selecting all of them so once I do that the select Step two, what do I want to do in step two? I want to right click and in the context menu I want to select send to from the context menu. And then select compressed zipped folder. Whoa. Step three, you want to rename your file to be descriptive of what the contents are. This one is optional, you don't have to, but I like to do that. You want to uh, rename your file to a more descriptive uh, Indicate indicator Okay Step three step four which is the final step uh, You want to attach And send as email or submit. So four steps. All right. Um, these are the the main four steps. Um, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please do send, and I will encourage you once again. Do uh, subscribe and share with as many people as possible. You never know who is going to find it useful. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next segment.